hello and welcome back. Thanks for coming back. Where are we? That's what you're wondering. Well, we're heading down from Armu. That's the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea in the distance. And as you may have noticed, the weather is looking absolutely spectacular indeed. There's no doubt about that. We're in the third week of November. I keep repeating this because if you're looking for that special place to get that winter sun, get yourself on a big bird or a canoe. Start paddling like crazy. Powerful Cypress, Marika and me, we are waiting especially for you. And last night we were sitting in the harbour in the Pelican restaurant, minding our own business, thinking there's nobody about because it was quite quiet. And then all of a sudden, two superstars appeared. And I'd like to say a big, big shout out to Miss Linda and of course, Mr. Phil, all the way from downtown in Wiltshire. And they've had a great, great holiday in the Coral Bay area. And they were staying in the Coral Bay Beach Hotel and Resort. And they said, it's absolutely spectacular. They've been coming to Paphos for 20 years. And hopefully next time they come to Paphos, they're going home today. They're going to come back and sit and perhaps have a drink or two with Marika and me. Now, feast your eyes and digest. Look at that. That's the beauty across the rooftops of Uptown Paphos, Midtown Paphos, Downtown Paphos, and out into the blueness of the blue, 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 blue Mediterranean Sea. I don't think that it can get much better than that. Another big shout out to some of the guys who like to come back and watch the channel now and again. There's a girl in downtown Hartlepool. She's in charge of the show. And of course, that's our day man. A very, very Cali Mary to you, my dear. And we're looking forward to seeing you in and around May. Not that far away, and the blues will be washed away. Well, they won't actually, because you'll be coming to blueness. What's going on here, eh? You do wonder what is going on. Has this car broken down? Probably not. It's just probably on a mobile phone or something like that. Yep, she's on a mobile phone. There you go. She's got her arm crossed the wrong way and she is on a mobile phone. Let's take a left and let's head through the back streets of Konya Village. You see, now and again, if you come back to the little channel known as Marika and me, you get to go on some roads that, to be honest, you don't want to go on because the road surface around here is absolutely Sherlock Holmes. There's no doubt about that. It's absolutely S-H-I-T. It really, really is. I don't know where you live in the world, but you can't have roads as bad as these. I'm in a big Jaguar. It's got air suspension. And I'll tell you what, I may as well be on a push bike riding around every single notch and manhole cover and pothole is coming through the suspension and I am getting very very worried indeed about my gas struts and as Sir Bernie in downtown South End has told me they're almost a thousand pound each ouch oh dear anyway big shout out to Sir Bernie and of course Lady Jan hopefully the weather's not treating you too bad and hopefully you're getting ready for Christmas because it's coming soon that's for sure. And hopefully the storms are not battering too much of Northern Europe and the UK. And hopefully all of our family members are keeping snug. And of course there's a guy in downtown Krakow. He's got a mum. She's a big, big superstar, by the way. And of course that's Lady Anna, my superstar. She's got a husband. He's the greatest doctor in the world. That's Mr. Tom Ass. She's the greatest lawyer in the world, by the way. But there is a young man who's passed his driving test and today he's picking up his first car. And that car, oh, it's a car. It certainly is. Audi A5 Quattro 3 litre diesel automatic. What a great car for your first car. Huh? Wow, unbelievable. And he's destined to be the greatest lawyer in the world once his mum retires because he's going to train to be a lawyer as well. So there's no doubt if that's his first car, he's heading for the Heights. He's heading for Bentleys and Rolls Royces and all those kind of things. Let's just hope that I can get my Bentley just before he does. So on that note, if you like what you see, hit the like, click that subscribe and perhaps come back for that little bit more of my complete and utter madness. And while you're at it, why not try and keep that channel afloat that you like to come back to now and again? How do you do it? Well, you click through to our about page and you'll find the buy me a coffee icon, or you can Google these magic words, buy me a coffee, Marika and me. Up will come at our landing page, 
and you can read all the comments and read that little bit more about us. And of course, you can choose to gift us that virtual coffee or two on the Buy Me A Coffee platform. Totally safe and totally secure. And you can also choose to become one of our superstar members at only 10 euros a month. That's all it is, 10 euros a month. It gets you that special title. And of course, it gets you a little bit closer to Marika and me. Big shout out to some of the people who have chosen to pick up superstars on the little channel known as Marika and me. Obviously, Dayman, she's had her shout out. Of course, there's a Kerry in downtown Cornwall. She's got a man in her life called Sir Tony. We hope you had a great, great weekend gigging the world away. And we know that you are the singing sensation that is for sure. There's another girl called Kerry, but she uses an eye on the end. And she's got a gigging man in her life and his name is Sir Graham and we hope you had a great great weekend as well. Michael Crompton in downtown Clangothlin. He's canoeing like crazy down the Clangothlin Canal. A very very Calimera to you. And of course in downtown South Wales we've got Sir Lee. He's got a beauty in his life called Lady Vicky and a daughter called oh yeah Princess Layla. A very very good morning to you. Again in downtown South Wales, a good morning to Princess Kelly and your mum, Lady Anne Marie, and your dad, Sir Michael. We hope you're having a great, great time indeed. And remember, February is coming. There's an important date in February, that is the 25th of February, and I have a feeling that we may see each other again somewhere around that date. Of course, that's Princess Kelly's birthday, and she happens to share it with Mr. Paul as well. So we're looking forward to seeing you again very, very soon indeed. We're on the expressway from Paphos in the direction of Limassol, and we are heading towards the workshop. Yes, so if your name is Lady, oh, so, 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 so sweet Caroline, who likes a Rambo whippy dipped in chocolate, pour a toss or two for the Lord of the Big Guns. That's Lord Nigel, because that's where we're going. And you never know, we might even go for a bit of a walk round. We're not actually, but we'll do a drive round. We're gonna go drop off a car, and we're gonna go pick up another Jaguar. And we're gonna take that Jaguar to Talar, to a gentleman who unfortunately had a mishap with a gate post, then he opened his door on a wall, and then I think someone sideswiped him as well. Anyway, it's all been put right, and now we're gonna take this car back have a very very good rummage in his wallet and he's not going to enjoy it well maybe you will this is life isn't it but one thing's for sure that sky is looking blue as you saw a while ago the sea is looking spectacularity of the blue indeed mr paul oh yeah he's dressed head to toe in blue so that must mean one thing all that is missing is you so get yourself on a big bird or a canoe start paddling like crazy because pathos oh yeah it's waiting just for you. But it really is a spectacularity of the month indeed. November, for the last couple of years now, has been this good, by the way. And it normally goes into the first couple of weeks of December. And there's a few people who know that. Talking about Wiltshire, there's two guys in downtown Wiltshire. Well, a guy and a girl and another guy. And of course, that is my Sir Richard, his blonde beauty, Julie Nash. And of course, they've got a son who's my little mate. He's not that little. He's actually a big boy now. And of course, that's Viscount Leo big big shout out to you if you remember you stayed in the Alexander the Great last year in around the first week of December and the weather oh my god it was absolutely spectacular and we had a great great time indeed so come on over the water is absolutely perfect come and see us again because we're missing you like crazy there's the brother number one in the black Peugeot that's going to go to the workshop and then we're going to go pick up a Jaguar which is probably round the back. Let's see where he's going to go and park that Peugeot, shall we see? This Peugeot's all the way from up in Lissos, by the way. Mr. Lubica, if you're watching, a very, very Calimera to you. And as you can see, it's like a bomb site around here. I don't recommend anybody to come driving around here. The roads are absolutely awful. Well, they're not as bad as the roads in Paphos, to be honest. There's at least this one's a dirt track, so there's no potholes or anywhere or manhole covers. So he's going to park up just over there. We've arrived at our destination, which of course is the workshop. And let's have a look if we can hunt down a jack. 
and she's have a word out the window with him and tell him to go and tag up the key. We always tag up the keys, otherwise they can get lost, can't they? Let's see what he's got to say. Bear with us for a moment, and then we're going to loop round the back and look for the Jaguar. Here he comes. Let's have a quick word with brother number one while I relight this Romeo and Juliet, especially for Sir Martin and his beauty, Lady Victoria. So if you tag up, tag up that key, and then the jack should be out the back. So I'll go and have a look around the back. There we are, and light the cigar up. We're gonna watch brother number one walk into the workshop. He's giving you a wave. As you can see, we're, we're all in t-shirts. He's scruffy as usual. And as you can see, there's a car or two about. We are pretty busy, luckily, luckily, there's a lot of expats in Paphos and uh, well, due to our service, they like to come to us. Big shout out to Mr. Brian Nevis, yes, the man with the Toyota. I think he's back in the UK now, but uh, he's the gentleman that costed me in the basement of the Neon Mall. And uh, he'd had a new battery and they tightened the nut up extra tight, as they should do. But of course, he's a clever man, so of course, when he goes back to the UK, he disconnects the battery so that when he comes back, the battery's not flat. So of course he was going into the mall to get himself a size 10 spanner to undo it. But luckily for him, he saved himself a couple of bob because he accosted me. And of course I carry quite an extensive tool kit in the boot of the car. So I was able to loosen that bolt for him. And then we went and had a coffee and had a chat for two hours. And we had a great, great time indeed. Looking forward to seeing you, Brian. Don't forget when you come back, give us a call. And uh, well, we'll go to the Neon Mall and have a coffee or two. There you go, there's the mechanics to the right, there's the body shop to the left, and uh, as you can see, well, there's one or two cars or two. Let's get round the back, because that's where the Jaguar is going to be waiting. Hopefully it's all looking perfect. I'll just dismount and have a quick look, and let you have a quick look as well. So stick with us, don't click off just yet. Luckily, Lady Andrew, there's no traffic lights around here, and there's no one-way streets, so we can do what the hell we like. Do you like that, Lady Alley? Yeah, no traffic lights and no one-way streets, so we can drive wherever we want. Big shout out to Lady Alley, and of course, the man in her life, Sir Neil, and of course, the two dads, Sir Brian, and of course, Lord Mike. Hopefully, you're keeping well. Here we are. This is where we keep some of our scrap cars, because you never know. We might make a couple of bob off one or two of the parts or so. Anyway, Lord Nigel with the big guns, there's another Jaguar. I'm just gonna go and have a quick look at it to make sure, stay there for a moment, let's go and have a quick look just to make sure that all the bits and bobs have been done. So stick with me for a moment. We are, we're back on board. We've inspected the car as predicted. It's always going to be perfect if it comes to Abra or Mr. Paul, as many people call it now. The gentleman you just, the last guy you saw, there was those two guys on the camera then, the last gentleman you saw, if you've watched the channel for a while, you know that he's been here for about two years now. His name is Abdullah and he's a star. He really is. He started off brushing up and cleaning up and passing this and passing that. 
now he's graduated on to doing all the masking. He does fillering, he does primering, and he's in charge of all the polishing and making sure the cars are perfect. And I'm pretty sure you can see that that car is looking very, very good indeed. If you're working in a body shop in the UK, and perhaps your name's Mr. Steve, yeah, and there's a beauty in your life called, oh, Mandy, yeah, you know what I'm talking about, in downtown Essex, what do you think of that? Oh, that's a nice little jag that's all come up lovely. There was a scuff on the front bumper, there was a dent in his driver's door, and there was a nasty crease down the side. Oh, the auto electrician has arrived now, we'll have a word with him. Yasu Kumbaru. For loose? For what? Give me, give, money. <laughs> give me money. I'll be back in an hour. Coming back. No, I need now. For what? I need it. How much? One hundred. For who? After I tell you. Or after you tell me. Yeah. See, this is where I get robbed constantly. Huh? Yeah. Get robbed by clefties. Huh? The clefty bastards. There we are. Hang on. You. See you next year. Yeah. See you next year. There you go. This is where I get constantly robbed by the people that work for me. See that? Give me 100 euros. What do you want it for? Just give me 100 euros. There we are. I'm going to say thanks for watching. If you like what you see, well, don't forget to come back again and again. There's a lot of madness in Mr. Paul's life. There really is, and the roads are absolutely shit. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again very, very soon. In